PT Wave Restructure, sharpening the tools. Hello, everyone. As you may know, this is the most impactful development resource. I have a direct feedback coming from you all. This includes player behavior data we receive from the latest builds of public test universe. Whether it's pushing the servers to their limits under heavy load or luring bugs out they're hiding to put in new features through its paces to focus testing cases, you're an essential part of the process. Um, let's put a pin in this, uh, how essential you are in the process. We're going to come back to this. We're, we're going to come back to essential, to essential personnel, right? The PT is a replica environment of all the necessary components to make our universe work. It's an environment where both community members and Cloud Imperium staff alike test as we hone in the release candidate. Access to the PT has historically been granted in waves to control the number of players in the environment based on testing needs. More often than not, a new feature or build will benefit from a gradual increase in congruency rather than a floodgate of traffic. This allows us to monitor varying degrees of scale to ensure once content makes it to this live service, it will be performant. Last four years, we haven't changed the PT Wave system, which re relegates who has access to the SES servers and when. Over the time, more and more players have gained access to various waves, which has ultimately led us away from our initial goals with testing waves. We have also come to notice that many players only log in once per PT phase to briefly inspect the latest feature or new ships before waiting for the live release. I'm guilty of that because honestly, I get tired of this. Shit. You log into the PTU, there's no progression. CIG resets your progress every patch. So you basically, if it isn't as a content creator, right? Play Star Citizen all the time. CIG wants you to work for free. They want you to work for them. They want you to do early access testing going on for 10 years. Actually, the PTU was what? 2.0? Around 2.0, the PTU was, was developed, Evocati. Because uh, CIG was just pushing patches straight to live as they were as they were finished and 2.0 was so fucking awful that cig literally had to had to put the stop gap of ptu into uh development streaming just how bad these patches were because it was it was awful 2.0 was terrible to watch the, the nda is just basically to keep people from making videos using ptu footage of how unstable and buggy it is that's all it really does a lot of the player base i'd imagine doesn't want to play the ptu very much because of just again it's a buggy it's bugger than live usually usually Sometimes the PT is bugger than live. It's bugger than live. You have maybe a cool one or two cool features you're adding because it's a quarter release schedule. You don't have you don't have a bunch that you're adding all at once. So people log in, they try the new thing, they see okay, I see where they're going with this, and then they log off and never touch the PT again. With with three eighteen and three nineteen, I was exhausted by the PTU, and I got to the point where I would ra I'd rather stay on live, especially with three eighteen. I got it's like a 318 and basically i stayed on 317.5 the entire time until cig put 318 out to push that out to live and then you have no choice and then 318.1 ptu i was playing that because it was a little bit more stable but again every time cig released the patch for the ptu all your progress would get reset and you basically had enough time to go out buy a couple upgrades for a ship fly around and then CIG would release another patch the other, next day. It was it was not a very enjoyable experience to do the PTU stuff because just there's no progression on the PTU. It's you get reset constantly. We have also come to notice that many players only log in once per PTU phase. Yep, and this is a problem I've brought up before. Uh, Overwatch had this problem. Blizzard had this problem with Overwatch, where they would have I think it was around season three. They had a whole bunch of changes they wanted to test out for season three balance changes and whatnot. And they knew they wanted their player base to log on to give them some feedback to, the, to their version of the test environment. And they were having a hell of a time convincing people to actually play their version of the of the, of the PTU. And they were one of some of the developers, senior developers was moaning about how nobody wanted to test their, their balance changes. And then everybody was complaining about balance changes when they got pushed to live. My rebuttal to that is we are not your employees it's up to you to figure out how to make this fun and then convince everybody it's fun and if people don't want to be convinced it's not fun that's your problem you took this job eating jellyfish <laughs> everybody there's actually this very old uh penny arcade comic that i still have on my hard drive to this day oh my god google you're helping me oh this is it boom it's the first one Alex Manuarez Rahlberg got feisty over Relic News declaring that waiting hip deep and form bullshit was beneath him. Too bad it's your f***ing job. Imagine a guy who gets stung by jellyfish all day or maybe he has to pet scorpions. Maybe he has to, he has to eat bees. These are not good jobs, but he, if you take a job like that, do you get to get complain about it? Yeah, because he took a job eating bees. Very, very neutral stance. Uh, we had... Uh, come to notice that many players only log in once per PTU phase to briefly inspect the latest feature or new ships before waiting for live release. This led to a very high player loads in the first hours of each wave, 
combined with comparatively high server costs and download provisions, but not sustained player testing we would have preferred. As consequence, towards if they are complaining about it. It's, it's like I have a crystal ball I can see the future. I knew this day would come when CIG would be like, we're, we, we see everybody play the PTU, but no one's sticking around to play the PTU. I wonder f***ing why. Uh, as a consequence towards the end of the PTU phase, we've sometimes lacked the necessary numbers of testers to put the servers under pressure once most specific bugs have been fixed. For this reason, the team has decided to restructure the PTU wave to focus on player activity. Now, the more often you play, the more experienced and familiar are with the game as mechanics, the earlier we'll invite you to enter the PTU. To support this, how the f*** is this going to change the number of people that are actually going to stick around and play the ptu um I, I i guess it's going to change the load so it happens over a longer period whatever uh to support this and the players that we'd like access to the ptu will review the activity-based wayback allocation system several times a year to ensure we have the most active testers within the first few waves i'm guaranteed to be within the first wave because i play star citizen way too much so if you have been following development for more from the sideline through easily don't worry hop back into the pilot seat and future activity will lead to earlier p2 access in a relatively short period of time if i gave a flying about the ptu maybe i would be excited about this change but even if i didn't have access to the p i tell you what 318 burned me the out Naturally, we also want to continue to open the door to everyone else who has supported us. For this reason, we'll continue to accommodate subscribers at various concierge levels throughout the new wave program. We're looking forward to this new approach as together we'll gain even more data for the PT phases as such result of better experience in live servers in the long run. Well, you'll find the new restructured wave for the PTU. Now let's go back. Let's put remember that pin we had, your essential part of the process. Let's uh again, let's keep this in the back of our minds while we're reading through who gets access to what wave. How essential you really are. Leave a Cotty test flight. Uh, Hand-selected players from a non-disclosure agreement. Very experienced volunteer testers chosen based on long-term provisions of cons constructive feedback, quantity, quality of bug reports, and overall activity. Wave 1. Top active players rated by hours in previous two major patch cycles. Basically streamers, content creators, and people who are just playing way too much. Subscribers. Legatus Navium concierge, concierge level backers. Are you kidding me? That's like, do you, do you know how much money that is? Like, I figured that'd be a little bit lower. The Goddess Navium is $25,000. So subscriber and basically whales, subscribers and whales uh, is wave one. And people who play way too much like me. Uh, most, most, most content creators are, are basically like a couple thousand in any ways. So whatever. Wave two, top next top active players rated by hours in previous two major pass cycles. Praetorian concierge backers, which is fifteen thousand. You you are you are an essential part of the process. You are an essential part of the process, unless you're a filthy poor, in which case you are not an essential part of the process. You should not be touching Star Citizen. Uh, wave three, I don't even know what like next top actors like. No numbers here, like. How many hours do you have to have in a patch cycle to to qualify? Give like 400 hours, 200 hours, 10 hours. What what the f is it, CIG? What's the what's the cutoff point here? This this basically CIG can act can just basically just use subscriber and Legatus Navium concierge and just have no one else in Wave One. They 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 have a special a special club for Wave One, which is just content creators like me, uh, and then. You have the subscriber base, and then you have Legatus Navi Na Na Navium concierge level backers, and that's it. And they just don't bother inviting anyone else. Because how would you? How the fuck would you prove this? What's what's the cutoff point for this? There's no actual numbers here, and it's just the same copy and pasted. And wave three is Wing Commander, Space Marshal, Grand Admiral, Concierge Mackers. It's nice that CIG thinks so poorly of Wing Commander, Space Marshal, and Grand Admiral Concierge backers that just lump them into the same club club. Basically, they have Legatius Navium and then Praetorian, and then they have the plebs after that, which is like, well, who, what's the period? 10000 5000 and $1,000, I believe, or Grand Admiral, Wing Commander, Con and Grand Admiral, Concierge, Grish Grand Admiral, 25000 So yeah, so if you're, if you're, if you're just a high admiral, you get, f you don't, you don't get, a high admiral doesn't get f access until wave four. That's that's how many people are in High Admiral. And Wave 5 is all backers with just open PTU. Thank you. 
Yeah, like you can just save, look at all the money you're saving with subscribers. Like you get access to wave one. Instead of having to spend $25,000 or become a famous streamer or a somewhat known streamer, you can just give them $10 and get early access to wave one because you're worth it. You're an essential part. Your, your money is an essential part of the process. I don't really give a because I don't care about the PTU and honestly, no one really should. It's been 10 years. CIG can do it themselves. Buy. Oh God! I I have I have triggered a visit. You haven't. We have. have. I know, right? We are, we are having a, an asylum I love, podcast I, now. I I, I I I love coming in there to, when this goes down. Are they fucking serious? Like, I, I, this is like the dumbest again. Mm -hmm. We want to stress test the servers with lots of people because we're worried about this is why we're making changes. And then they make it so that the first couple of waves are just the rich kids mm -hmm. and the important people are going to sell spaceships. Yep. And we not I mean, they expect us to believe this horse shit. I, no, horse I, shit. I, I believe their reasoning that interest drops off really quickly in the PTU. I, it happened to me with like 318. I was so tired by the 318 PTU. It's not going to fix it though. How is this going to fix it? If interest pulls off, do you know what that's, do you know what the reason for that is? Because you're getting shit. Yeah. Because your content shit. What you're making is shit. That's it. That's the reason why. If, if it was interesting and different and wasn't just mining 50 times 20, flight mode 17,000 version one, whatever, after 10 years, then you would have more interest. Mm -hmm. But it's the same shit mm -hmm. over and over again. No wonder people are bored i'm bored i go into the ptu i go what am i testing oh uh, what well, haven't i tested for seven years mm -hmm. oh yeah this one little thing okay i played it. oh it's kind of broken i've died 30 k this shit i'm out mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like yeah. and then there's like how oh people aren't playing so yeah let's i just it's so fucking obvious it's insane and they're they're uh, they're I actually just... rewarding people too with in-game ships for like being in the ptu for making certain milestones that was a thing that was happening recently like i think someone like oh. i think zero state got a corsair or something like for, for yeah. being the most playtime or some sh PTU. I can't remember the reward levels, but they literally rewarded people for doing bug reports uh, for the PTU. Yeah, well, that's... I mean, at least that's something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, at least we're getting rewarded for doing... I mean, again, we spoke we spoke many times about, mm -hmm. you know, rewarding rather than punishing, but this just... It just reeks, again, of just... It's just like... Again, you know, we talk about that whole kind of like... Have you guys not sat around a table? Did nobody sit around a table and go, some... Poor John in the corner put his hand up again going, uh, I, I actually think this is probably maybe a very f***ing bad idea. Um, no, no, shut up, John. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, that uh, that, maybe, that you meme know, where they throw the guy out the window. Yeah, it's just... Oh, my God. I, like, I believe that CIG, what I, I believe some of the stuff they say in this, that they are having problems with PTU engagement. And... The core problem is nobody wants to play the PTU after 11 years, right? People are exhausted of constantly testing. Yeah. Like you said, people are tired, constantly exhausted of testing the same over and over again. There's no pyro. There's no server meshing. We're still in the stand system after I don't know how many years after Microtech was added. <laughs> nothing's really changed. CIG is trying to find a way to drive engagement into the PTU, and their way of doing it is having different floodgates. That's what that's what these waves are about. They're floodgates to test, to stress test the server. It's f***ing stupid. I agree with you, but some asshole had to come up with a plan to actually drive engagement into the PTU, and this is their f***ing awful plan that's going to fix it. Yeah. That was greenlit by the manager that runs this shit. yeah I, I think his marketing's got his fingers a little in this pie too because mm -hmm. honestly if you think about it those people that are at the top there who are rated by hours you and i both know that is the marketing machines of the streamers who market the shit out of the new mm -hmm. ships that's where they'll go in they'll show these 10 new ships or whatever new yeah. ships are coming out and get everyone excited they'll bought hey guess what the new spirit whatever it is mm -hmm. is out and it'll be there and people i mean that spirit isn't that expensive a ship and no. let's just say you have a reach concierge back in the day if you reach a thousand quid you you're, you're getting into it you wave one right yeah. i think it is pretty much i think you're guaranteed to yeah, wave, wave one, one was concierge now, where am I? Where are you now in concierge? Basic level. So, but concierge is what? Wave four. Uh, wave now? four. Almost, op almost open PTU. Yeah. I have spent eight years back in this game, and I've gone from in from before you could get in for free if you just uh, played a lot mm -hmm. to the point now where I'm down to wave four or five. Who spends over 
I'm spending nearly two grand or whatever it is on a computer game, mm-hmm. and you can't even get in. Like, and they're talking about they want to get player engagement. They can go f- off, as far as I can say. Mm-hmm. That is a joke. Sorry, I'm being a bit swear. No, no, no. Joke. Go for it, man. Like, give us, give us both barrels here, because I was, I was that's, mad about this too. Insulting. I like. That's I point insulting. out that I pointed out to my viewers that Baldur's Gate Three released, and it's sixty bucks. You could give Chris yeah. Roberts another hundred hundred dollars for a game that's not coming out anytime soon, or you could buy a fully released, polished, wonderful game for sixty bucks. Play it, enjoy it right now. Where is the it's value in this in this wave separation, right? Madness. You, you've we've pointed that already. Like you've given two grand. I'm assuming it's euros or or British pounds. No, two, uh, no, it's probably closer to three now. To three grand. Honest. Okay. Probably getting on to close to three thousand. And 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 for me, I just kind of go. That's like I mean. Um, Starfield, for example, mm-hmm. I will probably at the max, depending on what like little extras that they do. Mm-hmm. And again, it's a single player game. I know that, but you know, you look—it's a hundred quid, like a mobile phone game. The most I've ever spent on probably a mobile phone game is a couple of hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this game is insane, like like yep. a huge amount of money. And I'm not just—I'm not just me. This is most. There's so many people who've, who are at very different levels. But I, I, if you, it's not even that. If you want to engage players, you don't do this you bring the wind the door or the floodgates much closer to like gate two mm-hmm. do you know what i mean and you go you know uh, that's what you do you don't do, well, that's you don't this do is this. this is this is all management cig is trying to solve a problem with the community that they can't solve by adding new content how, are you, how they, is this helping what are you getting out of this as what am i what are we you're, you're nothing getting you are getting out of this, of this. Do you, that is yeah, I'm getting pushed down. yeah you're getting pushed down because CIG needs the player base to test bullshit for them to basically do Q and A testing for free. You 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 are a pay paying tester. You're not a paid tester. You pay them. You're giving CIG Chris Roberts. You're giving him money to test his game for him. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I know you're well and we're well and truly over a barrel without lube. I mean, yeah. it's just a joke. That's one of the reasons you know. why I haven't bought anything any any time recently. So the, to me, this is just a f- joke. I mean, I'm just kind of laughing about this. I'm like, I'm a content creator, so I'm gonna be wave one anyway. See, he's just gonna give it to me. Like, oh, you're because, f- like you said, I'm gonna show off the new ships. I'm gonna show off the new mechanics. It's going to be advertisement for them. It just reeks. It reeks of of trying to sell these ten new spaceships that they're planning for this. It reeks like they're right? trying to sell subscriptions. $10 yeah, that's subscriptions. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's the, at the end of the day that subscription that, yeah. that, that subscribers get wave one access, which means a subscriber is worth more than your money you spent on all the time you've been backing Star Citizen. A ten, oh, we're back to that. Oh, a, my God, a we're back single to that old school days. A single $10 subscription is yeah, worth yeah. more than you, Madness, to Chris Roberts right now. Clearly. But then that, that's thing. But the, here's the question is, is so. Will the single what what wave do you get in with that subscription? Top wave one. Are you wow? Right, right, that is, uh, right back behind Evil Cody. Seventeen. Yep. That's what I used to. I used to say that. That's how I used to get into the PDUs back mm-hmm. in the day. When back in two thousand seventeen, that's how I would get into the PTUs when I didn't have any money. It would just I would pay for one. And that's how it, for the subscription for one month, ten bucks, whatever. It exactly, was, Omega. To get in. Yeah, Omega brings it up in the chat here. Correction: New money is worth more than old money. That's basically what I told Madness. Is, oh, of course. Yeah, because they want new money and just the wave one subscribers. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could have put wave wave two could have been subscribers, but it still but it still would have been bad. Madison would still would have been pissed off because like f- his his two to three thousand yeah. two to three thousand quid means it? nothing. It's not even that years of playing back in playing every I've played almost as many PTU patches as I can possibly play over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't play huge amounts of hours. I have a life. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm not a paid full-time q a tester and i stream i've done you know it's it's i just i'm just i just it reeks it's not it's not good i i, I don't get it's not good for the reasons that we're talking about it's mm-hmm. not doing what it, it doesn't feel like it's doing what they're saying it's doing you know yeah. what i mean we want to open up but we're actually making more closed doors yeah and we're making sure that the only door that you can get through just pop 10 quid in the kitty over here and you can get in you yeah know what I mean? whenever you it's want like, just just give us 10 bucks and you can uh, get whatever you want as soon as soon as it's out of evil Cotty, you know, like just give us 10 quid we're good. And to everyone, it's like, oh, it doesn't seem that's not a huge amount. That's just a bottle of wine. What's the big deal? It's, not, it's nothing. But again, and that's how they get you. Whole kind that's of that's how the gotcha games work. That's how this stuff manipulates them. It's not that much, right? Once you spent, once you've bought in to a game, and we were talking about this earlier. There's a there's a video I want to watch. Maybe tomorrow. It's getting kind of late right now. 
um, where there was a, a game that was released by someone who actually works on gotcha games, mobile games, and he made his own game to show you just all the manipulation that goes into making these games. Once you have someone who buys in, once you put, someone has become comfortable with the idea of buying uh, in-game purchases, they're more comfortable with purchasing even more in-game purchases. I know. I can't imagine that everything we're talking about isn't being said in the bottom of the chat of this this thread. I can't imagine. Oh, I've scrolled down. Like it, it is very unpopular right now. This I I can imagine people are just like but this is one of those ones where like will they roll it back or will they say, you know, the middle finger? Or we've taken your feedback, guys. Really appreciate it. We, we, we're uh, listening, the, the right? Feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to roll it back and we'll change it so, you know, everyone, you know, we'll change, yeah, change, change it up a bit or something. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What you... I did that for 3.0 where I bought, yeah, again, yeah. I, this was before I was concierge, where I bought $10. I gave them 10 bucks to get 3.0 because I was, a, I was a Twitch streamer. So I needed to get access to 3.0 because it had planets. Planets you can land on. And that was kind of like a big deal. I, I don't, I, for me, if they had done this so that, Subscribers get in PT uh, and and some subscribers get in on ten bucks on wave one, and um, concierge and whatever else it is gets concierge gets in a wave one, mm -hmm. and people who played it the most get in a wave one, and if you played the last PTU patch mm -hmm. for X amount of hours, you get into wave one. I'm like, and they said it because you want to get as many people in stress testing wave one as much as possible. Yay! I'll be like, oh, that makes total sense. But the problem okay. is, is like nobody's sticking around <laughs> because everybody is exhausted. From PTU, like three what? three eighteen broke me. I'm not quite sure about you, but I I no, was streaming, no, I was doing playing three eighteen, and I, honestly, I, like I was so f***ing fed up. Early early three t three eighteen release was really buggy, yeah. and I'd rather play three yeah. seventeen five live. So it was kind of like I only logged on to three eighteen towards release of three eighteen, like the end of the PTU, and three eighteen I think was like the longest PTU they had ever had. It was very, it was very like long. ninety was days or was that, something. Was that Pez? It was Pez? Yes, it was Pez. Really? It was persistent streaming. Yeah, and so, yeah, towards I the end it was fine. Of towards the end yeah, of three eighteen PTU was later. fine, but when it went when when it went live, like <laughs> nobody could play. Like it broke hard. I uh, I don't know about you. Like I, you obviously stream, so you're in a mm -hmm. bit more of a position where you have to. Whereas I'm, you know, uh, in and out of streaming. Yeah. For me, my my stress test is always the same when I play a PTU patch. Mm -hmm. I wake up, I go do the fundamentals, I get some gear, I fl I get the train, and I fly to the station, and then I set my set spawn point at whatever Everest Harbor or Portress or whatever it is. Right. Mm -hmm. In between that period of time, if I get a single thirty k or two 30Ks within a certain allocated amount of time, yeah. or it's buggy as shit, or it's fucked up, I will put the game down for two weeks, and then I'll come back to it mm -hmm. in every PTU patch. Because I have spent so many hours, I have given so many crashes to this game over the years, mm -hmm. I'm done. I don't... I, I, my, my ticket is stamped for CIG at the end of the day in terms mm -hmm. of what I've done for them. I don't need to do anymore. I do and, because I like the game and I really enjoy it and I, I'm invested in it, but I'm genuinely like, I don't need to suffer through the pain And, I think, and I think a, a lot, lot of, of the player base is doing exactly what you're doing because CIG basically admitted here. So they yeah. released something from Evil Cotty to Wave 1. They see a huge spike in players and then immediately plateaus and then drops off. And then they never see another spike like that until they go to the next wave and they see another spike in player base and then it drops off. And so CIG just isn't getting the telemetry from the player base. And this is something that happens to other games too that have test environments. I talk about Overwatch. Yeah, you have you have Q and A testers. You mm -hmm. have I mean they've got already they already have Q and A internally. Mm -hmm. They also have Eva Cardi goes before this. Yeah. And then they got PTU. And there's guess what? We're still in an early access. It's yep. not like it's a finished game. It mm -hmm. goes to an alpha stage. So to yep. expect I mean the expectation that it's like somehow our jobs to be their monkeys that do it constantly test. I mean, we were treated like that when 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 the P two goes live. We're basically like we're live testers, and they have we have people that give. It's I've seen this before. We have people who give oodles of feedback yeah. on on the forums. People who who post like like they post like massive massive bricks of text. But I've seen people yeah. do that. CIG has a very passionate backer base that is engaged on the forum twitter reddit and given feedback it's just 
they're having problems getting that player base to play the P2 because I think, like you, Madness, everybody's just f***ing exhausted of this shit. It's been 10, 11 years. I'm trying to remember when PT was first introduced. I think it was 2.0, so it's been like seven years or something. Seven or six or seven years since PT has been a thing. Evil Cotty. And people are just f***ing exhausted about this shit because there's nothing really new to test. It's the same. You're breaking the same rocks with mining, the same yeah. ships, the mole, the prospector, the gray cat rock, the rock DS, like, hand what, mining. What you, I'm like, honestly, I'm like, what do you need to test? Honestly, if you're talking about that type of level of stuff, I'm like, what are you testing? Seriously, a Q&A mm -hmm. team surely could figure that shit out, what's good and bad, and Eva Cardi could give you the information. Or you could just push I, it live just, and just deal you know? with what the feedback yeah. you get. Let's, let's focus on what we're mad about. Subscribers get access to wave one. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm mad about it to, to a degree, but at the same time, mm -hmm. a part of me is kind of like, it, it make the, what they're doing there is really it makes sense because you're going it's that whole thing again that we always talk about it's the focus on the new backers mm -hmm. and the new money and it's new this money. is generation we're now on generation four this is generation four of backers as i like to call them mm -hmm. and they're focusing on this next generation and they don't have the well, haven't spent a thousand pounds they haven't spent you know they don't mm -hmm. have conscious they can't even get into so this is their way this is their ticket of getting in just like yeah. when i first like i said when i was doing it in 2016 I had the ability to, back then they did subscribers to get into. But it doesn't matter. Like you have to, one. you have to, you have to like put a lot more money yeah. into Star Citizen to actually get early access to PT waves now. So well, High yeah, Admiral I just mean, gets you wave four, which happen. is basically just open PT at that point. Like, yeah. So now you're guaranteed. You're saying what? Let's just say they do three PT patches. They do three PT patches a year mm -hmm. uh, rather than four. Just say it's three. Um, mm -hmm. And then, how long does a PTU patch normally last? It doesn't last a month, right? So you know that's forty bucks. They're so they're they're, they're right now the the three dot two PT was in Evocati right now, so it should be yeah. by the end of the month. It should be live by the end of the month. So usually it's like a couple of weeks. And you're what they're gonna what they're saying right now is are they gonna run through every wave in PTU? Is it gonna go from wave one? Does it have to go from wave one to two to three to four to then all and then live, or are they gonna skip a wave? Right? Or they go from wave one to two to, to to open. So some of these waves may be optional. Like this doesn't really need to be written down, in my opinion. I that they the fact that they're talking about money upsets people. I think the money the money aspect. It's, it's the splitting out again. It's the splitting out of the concierge for people. Yeah, you know, I think I, that's that people, was kind of like wave wave two, like years, three, like, and oh, four are the issues here. Not valued, you know. The, like the, who spends a thousand pounds on a game and suddenly mm -hmm. feels they're devalued to wave four you know what i mean and again it's that i don't think that i don't doubt that the the different level like the higher level peoples deserve some stuff you know what mm -hmm. i mean there's definitely some things but i don't think it should be anything to do with um this i've always felt it should do with other things mm -hmm. such as um other, like tickets guaranteed tickets yeah. allocation for for a big events and guaranteed tickets for certain things but not I don't think for this, because this is about testing the game. This is about making the game better, right? It shouldn't be about Ooh. how much money you've, you've dropped up down. It should be about everyone contributing to make the game better. Um, if that's what they're really talking about. Now, you're saying it's the gates, which I thought was interesting. Mm -hmm. You're saying, like, so they're trying to slow the gates, to slow the roll in. You know what I mean? It's like, we don't want everyone coming in in the first wave. And then no, no, no. They want to They want to spike you know? the system. That's that's their... They want to slow the roll. They they you know, want to tantalize us with all the content creators they... showing off all the cool ships, and you're all standing there at the glass doors waiting yeah. for. No, it's like um, you know, in uh, the Phantom Menace mm -hmm. when um Obi Wan and you got Darth Maul and they have the big fight scene and they have got those um doors. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. That close the le the laser doors or whatever they were. They're holding them back. That's literally what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. We all have to stand behind. We're like Obi Wan watching freaking everyone enjoying all the cool lightsaber fight, and we're like. Come on, we've got to get in. Get in. Yeah, to kind of get everyone. Then it's like, because everyone will be tempted. So you'll, you'll drop. That's mm -hmm. the thing is, you if you can't get in, and you know your ship is the one, your spirit bomber is there. It's there. All I've got to do is give them another f um, yeah. 10 bucks, and I can, 10 yeah. bucks, and I'm in. You know what I mean? 10 bucks, and I'm in. I can then play my spirit. Just an extra 10 bucks. I mean, like, okay, so we're going to re re talk about this in chat real quick. Uh, but he, he, So he's more of a, like, oh, everyone's kind of blowing this out portion he's one of he's he's saying that and i, I mean we've like... we've been a lot me me and madness are long time backers we've spent a lot of money on star citizen and we've had these privileges for a long time that cig is now taken away from us they and i've said this before i've literally said this today this this thing i've said i like to say every so often is if you give something something somebody they will thank you for it if you take something away from somebody they will curse you and that's exactly what's happened right now cig is taking privileges that we've had 
away from us and then people are not liking these changes because we 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 as concierge level backers have lost privilege with cig and the other problem here is subscribers have privilege but they're valuing new money above old money cig only cares about income fine i get it you have to make it you have to pay for the fucking servers whatever but they're dividing the community on concierge lines so people who have spent more money are worth more to cig it, it's it just doesn't it feels icky that's that's all i, I mean, can clear, say clearly clearly their armor that they sold recently didn't sell that well then if they're having to push yeah. i still don't get their heads that like, like but i got borders gate right and you mm -hmm. get like some free gear that you can get from watching like some people stream it or whatever it is and they have custom you know clothes and stuff you know what i mean mm -hmm. custom it's custom it's actually designed differently i would so like to, honestly if they had it, like different color different. schemes for the bot for the purchase yeah. stuff would have been great at least you could you like could hide behind like, like okay. oh it's a different color or something <laughs> yeah you're telling you me they a CIG put some patterns on there. Yeah, put some patterns well, on there, different materials, get the color slider out, yeah. change the colors a little bit. Yeah, unique. No, it's okay, no, cool. it's the same shit you could buy in game for 10 bucks. <laughs> like well, fuck it stupid. Because I think they're the thing is is I think it's that weird like they they would say people would say well their hands are tied because they won't do, you know, they they they, they you have to be able to get it in game if you pay money for it. But I would also argue and be like, well, that's not true because the Raven and the Omega mm -hmm. and some of those others, there's probably some other things people will be able to tell me, like, oh, per se, where they have been completely exclusive. Do you know what I mean? Where they're completely limited and you can't buy them in game. So it's like, there's no precedent. That's the thing is they break their own, they, they choose when and where they can, or they can choose when and where. And in my, in my understanding of that situation, I would be like, yeah, just do the work. Do some quality work on terms of not even um, quality. Do yeah, something besides just take the the you already have and sell it. Sell it, sell it to us. Yeah, yeah. Like that's, just that's the laziest shit. Create it. So create lazy. a decal for the armor. Oh, slap the decal on the armor somewhere and change the colors. Do some yeah, basic yeah. work. Like <laughs> honestly, like the the art the ten dollar armor didn't really piss me off that much because we've seen so much worse. Remember like the uh, the subscriber yeah, gear yeah. when you had to like subscribe for like five months to get the entire yeah. suit but it's just it reeks it's the problem is, is all these little things they're doing on the side they all get it's like it's like it's like a, it's like backing up you know what i mean like in a sewer you know what i'm saying it's like it just starts to really it just doesn't look great it doesn't and then when your game is still struggling let's be honest it's still struggling they're struggling mm -hmm. they've been struggling for years um the biggest threat to star citizen is is a fundamentally is just pure irrelevance and it will be if it's not careful with this post i really still have a certain amount of faith in development of the game but there's exactly these decisions that make me doubt cig this is from lost talk by the way you also turn and change things to suit you without paying attention to how much they kick your supporters asses in 2013 the rear admiral game package still said alpha and beta access i think i just didn't catch it but you renamed it that to legacy alpha whatever that means uh that's back when cig basically gave everybody alpha access like originally oh, wow Remember, remember oh, this? this an, oh, this is an old school person coming yep. up with it before they changed their terms. So is this before they changed their terms? Yeah. They did so CIG, when, when the crowdfunding initially kicked off, you had oh. to buy a game package with alpha access in order to get access to the alpha. This is back when everybody thought Star Citizen was coming sooner than later, right? Much sooner. Oh. So you had alpha and beta access packages. The beta access, you had, actually you had three different types of packages. The cheap package got you access to Star Citizen when it released. The next up from that was beta access. You got access to Star Citizen beta. The, the next package up from that, more expensive, was alpha access. You got access to the alpha of Star Citizen. Eventually, CIG back in like 2015, I think, did away with this and just said, if you bought a Star Citizen game package, you got access to alpha. And so basically everybody who, who owned a Star Citizen starter pack got access to Star Citizen Alpha. And that's what Legacy Alpha is. Um, because I think CIG realized that Star Citizen wasn't coming anytime. That should have been like a warning sign that Star Citizen was not coming out anytime soon when they when they switched over to Legacy Alpha. And now something like this. You have broken your promises so many times in the past 10 years and you're going to do it again? May sound exaggerated, but because of these wave changes, you just have to wait one or two weeks longer until you precipitate the PTU, but it's also the principle. Yes, and that's kind of what we're all mad. 
it's about the principle yeah. of the thing. It's like we were told a long time ago that if you were a certain level of concierge, you got access to the P2, wave one. And we, we got used to that privilege, and that privilege has been taken away from us. Now we're upset by that. Uh, do not know who runs your marketing department, but I think some lessons to customer satisfaction won't hurt either. As a little reminder, haven't you noticed yet the reputation outside the community is not the best? And exactly such probably topics, reason for it. Also, <laughs> so not so best regards. Yeah, and there's the uh, legacy alpha stuff. Um, that's it. Yeah. There's alpha access right there, and then legacy alpha is right over here. So yeah, they actually provide like an actual mm. screenshot of the old. Uh, I actually have a physical pack like this. I have the constellation RSI constellation Andromeda, which has all this physical stuff that I've yet to receive. You know, whatever the whatever the f***ing USB stick that I, I I get, spaceship shaped USB drive. Which spaceship? Uh, well, it's gonna be a butt plug. It's gonna be a f***ing misc. Uh, signed digital, signed deluxe silver collector's box. Who's going to sign it? Chris Roberts? Is, is he still going to be alive by the time Star Citizen comes out for me to receive this? It's probably going to have to be signed by like an AI or something that can replicate, perfectly replicate Chris Roberts' signature. But anyways, have a good night, <laughs> Madness. Uh, give my best yeah, to your wife you, and buddy. kids. Appreciate you stopping yeah. by. Always, always. Mm -hmm. keep, up the, keep up the good work. And I I'll, try. Uh, catch up with you soon. Take care, buddy. Mm -hmm. Look after yourself. Bye-bye. Oh, man. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. It really does help us out. Live on Twitch most days. Check out the social media for any updates or news on the channel. And thank you to all my Patreons for their support. I do appreciate it.